Hello from a street in Lisbon. Today I'm flying with EasyJet from Lisbon to Bordeaux in France. Now rest assured this video is not going to push YouTube travel videos into new areas. In fact it'll probably be as dull as dishwater but there is a reason why I want to make this video. It's more to do with the airport than the airline so come along and find out why. So the plan is find out where the EasyJet check-in is and drop our bags, get some breakfast and then explain a little bit more about why I'm making this video. So check-in area A is for TAP, uh, B is just over there and I don't know what that's for. So we're just going to keep going and see what we can find. So we've got C, D, E and F. Hopefully one of them will be for EasyJet. So, coffee has been taken and imbibed and enjoyed and the point of this video is we're not just at Lisbon Airport, we are at Lisbon Humberto Delgado Airport and I find this interesting about how in places that are not the UK, airports, train stations get people uh, named, after, named after people, people named after them, anyway you know what I mean. So in the UK, I would say you've got Belfast George Best Airport, Liverpool John Lennon, and I'm going to throw a cheeky Wick John O'Groats Airport, because John O'Groats is named after a Dutch man called Jan de Groot. A bit tenuous, but I'm going with it anyway. So that got me to thinking, who is Humberto Delgado? Well, for the aviation enthusiasts, Humberto Delgado was a member of the Portuguese Air Force um, and he set up the airline TAP, the Portuguese national carrier, in 1945 and they had their first commercial flight in 1946. Now old Humberto managed to do something else and that was to get himself assassinated. Now how did he do that? Well, that's one for the history buffs. So if history's not your thing, skip ahead a minute or so. Um, and catches up getting on the plane, I suppose. But if you like it, a bit of history, stay put. Okay, so I don't have a hat, but if I did have a history hat, it would be on. So, Humberto Delgado um, was uh, Portuguese, and like much of Europe in the 20s and 30s, Portugal was run by a dictator. Now in Portugal, this gentleman was called Antonio Salazar. Now he was only ever the Prime Minister. There was a president that uh, the Prime Minister had to answer to, but in reality, Salazar was running the show. Now in 1958, there were presidential elections and Humberto Delgado decided he was going to run in the elections. And he was asked, well, what would you do with Salazar? And he says, well, obviously I'll sack him which um, probably didn't go down well. Now, in a twist of fate that no one could have predicted or seen, Delgado lost the presidential election. You know, who saw that coming? And he had to go into exile. So he went off to Brazil and Algeria, and then he ended up in Rome. But in 1965, he was lured back to Portugal. And on the Spanish-Portuguese border, he was assassinated by the Portuguese secret police, as was his secretary. Um, now the police said they did this in self-defense, but uh, uh, Umberto was, was unarmed. So make of that what you will. So yeah, he got himself assassinated, but you know, good news about him setting up TAP, wasn't it? Now, what airports or railway stations in the UK do you think should have names added to them? I'm going to plump for Norwich Allen Partridge Railway Station. Can you think of any? Now, if you can, let me know in the comments. The funniest one will win a Tim's Travels mug. So you can keep your toothbrush in that, or your pens, or you can even use it for your morning tea or coffee. Uh, keep it clean, because we are a family-friendly uh, channel. But let me know the funniest one you can come up with. Um, David Brent Cross, maybe? Anyway, thanks for listening to this little ramble. We'll see you on the plane.
And here's our aircraft. It's an Airbus A320 with the registration OEIJN. Interestingly, a few weeks after this video was shot, this aircraft was re-registered as HBJXU for EasyJet Switzerland. And there's not too much to say on this flight, partly because there was someone in my seat and I couldn't be bothered arguing with them, and partly because the video is not really about the trip, it's all about Humberto Delgado. Safe to say, an hour and a half later, we arrived in Bordeaux. Welcome to Bordeaux. Crack and flight with EasyJet. Crew really good. Somebody in my seat, but you know, can't have everything. But all really, really good. We never went first. No. I got me that. Oh, we were all first. Okay, so this is Bordeaux Airport. And yeah, lovely flight with EasyJet. Of course, this video was not all about the flight, uh, particularly because someone was in my window seat. Um, so that kind of nullified what I was able to video. But it is about bus stations, airports, railway stations that should have a person's name attached to them. Let me know in the comments, the funnier, the better. Who do you associate with a particular place? Uh, and even put an explanation why they should have um, their name attached to an onward travel hub. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. I should also add as a little postscript that there is 30 days from the publication of this video to get your options and choices in um, it would be handy if you're a UK resident just for postage, um, but uh, you know, let's let's see, we'll see what we can do. Okay, yeah. Anyway, bye for now.